Let's end the confusion about datums by using the correct terms. On this part that goes into our clutch brake, this surface is datum feature A, and the bore is datum feature B. These are not the datums. These features have imperfections. The datums exist in our processing equipment. The part is a blob of material. We use gauge pins, angle plates, indicators, etc. to contact the datum features on the part and line the part up to the much higher quality planes and axes that exist in the equipment. When I hear a trainer say that this is datum A, I cringe. Datum feature A establishes a plane in the equipment. The bore that is datum feature B is used to line the part up with the axes of the equipment. This axis is the intersection of two datum planes. People always want to know where datum plane B is. There is no datum plane B. Datum feature B establishes two datum planes, which are the second and third planes of the datum reference frame. If you think there has to be a datum plane B, get over it. When people understand the terms correctly, GD&T becomes a lot clearer. Make certain the folks doing the training are using the correct terms so your folks do not get confused. We use the correct terms because of Techies GD&T rules. I'll see you next tip.